I'll hurry this up. I'll get left in the dust again. Hello everyone, welcome back to the month of America. Today on the agenda is Post Void. Apparently a first person shooter that's all about speed. Use mouse to look around. Obviously this is just the initial part where it teaches you movement. But from here on out... Okay, sliding. Kinda giving me an ultra kill vibe, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. The liquid in your idol is your health. Wait, why is it steadily decreasing? Kill enemies to regain liquid. Shoot with your left mouse button. There we go. This is where the game reveals itself. It's almost like Bloodborne. Well, I was mostly thinking of the fact that you kill to heal yourself. It has that kind of push-centric action. Okay, never mind. Sorry for comparing it to Bloodborne. I should have compared it to Doom Eternal in Doom 2016 and Flower of Hope that would give birth to a sanctuary. Bloodborne was just the first thing I thought of. With his head in hand, he who bore the pain would try to reach the void again. I see. A place where nothing moves, where darkness is lord and silence its preacher. A place of peace. There, his head can pour freely onto a new seed, which, with renewed purpose, will sprout life. But alas, ceaseless violence and unapologetic noise would again be wallpapered to the corridors of past serenity. A time known as Post Void. A place known as Post Void. Okay. I guess that the tutorial was even before the main menu. It's kind of funny how that works. Take this. Interestingly, you're constantly dropping liquid, it would seem. Oh boy. Better, better not stop moving. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, I made it to 7 kills in 30 seconds. A new high score, apparently. It seems to be more like a roguelike. Interesting. Keep moving or you die. That's the name of the game here. Damn. I got one more kill, so that's pretty good. Right? Oh boy. About to lose my liquid already. I need to focus. Ah, damn. Damn. This is intense. This is crazy, man. Oh, crap. This is nuts. Oh boy. We need to be more careful here. And when I see them coming though, I don't necessarily always make it. 38 seconds, huh? Man, talk about the definition of intense, huh? Let's try this shit again. I know I, um, compared to the Bloodborne off the top of my head because of the health regain, but... 
Uh, you know what? Forget it. Well, shit. New high score? No. That was not a high score. Don't give me pity. I don't want your pity. Geez, even when I see them, even when I'm looking carefully, they always seem to shoot me first. And again, that time I just straight up, he was in front of me and I didn't see him. I was not paying attention there. That one was on me. Oh crap. Jeez. Oh boy. Oh, I almost made it to the liquid. I almost made it. Man. I almost got him with that one. I guess that means I am doing slightly better. Wait, if I can just dodge... So that's what I gotta do, I just gotta dodge. Or at least try to. Crack the code, you can dodge the bullets. I figure... I made it. Ooh, let's slow down when touching enemies, what? Huh? Change your weapon to a shotgun. More shooting, less reloading. Shotgun. Give me the shotgun. Give me the shotgun, please. Oh boy. Hot damn. Okay, these are slightly harder to dodge. You gotta keep away from them. Well, on the other hand, they're melee, so... The way... They're a bit easier to deal with at the same time. It's balanced. Neither of them is intrinsically harder. They're just tricky in different ways. Holy crap, I'm, I've cracked the code. I'm, I'm doing it. Or shooting less reloading, change your weapon to an Uzi. Holy shit, give me the Uzi. Thank you. But there are downsides, of course, just as there are downsides to everything. Shotgun is slower and packs more of a punch. This is obviously faster and packs much less of a punch. Oh boy. I don't think so, son. I think I'm doing this. Oh, I've got it. I think I've got it. Enemies explode upon death, makes you run faster backwards. Change your weapon to a knife, hold the slash. Why would I do that? Make them explode. So far, the rightmost one has been my favorite. Crap. I almost made it. Man, I did good. I did very good. So much better than I did the first few times. It's starting to click. Not really. I think I'm just getting luckier. Maybe the game is getting pity at me being pity. Maybe the game is throwing, showing pity towards me and making it easier. Maybe there's dynamic difficulty going on that I'm not aware of. Oh boy. I need to concentrate. Makes it hard to give commentary. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, come on. 
damn. Damn, 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 damn. I keep getting it and then not getting it. That seems to be how this little dance goes. Try to get a little farther each time. You don't always get so lucky. Or shall I say, your skills don't always showcase themselves. Sometimes you get more fidgety, sometimes you get a little angsty, sometimes you just can't do it as good. But I need to keep strafing. That seems to be the key, just strafe. Seriously, why would you ever do this? More liquid in the idol, please. Is there anything that it being a knife would actually accomplish better? I mean, maybe if it substantially increased how much health you got back. Maybe. But unless it did that, that's just a straight up downgrade. I don't care if it's an instant kill weapon. That still would not be worth it they die pretty quickly anyway. The whole point is that you're constantly moving. And you're killing them within two seconds. You and them can die easily, crazily fast. It can be over in a couple of seconds for either of you. There's no point in having a weapon that can do more damage in exchange for being lower ranged. Especially when so many of these enemies also fired guns. Actually, that might that might also make it worth it if the if choosing the knife also makes your weapon it makes your enemies limited to a knife. Then maybe, maybe I would consider it. But until then, though, no. that just that's just gonna make it worse. I'm no good with a knife. Oh boy. God damn. Hey, there we go, there we go. At least I'm I'm getting past the first level more easily. More liquid in the idle, uh, point towards the goal. Reload faster. Yeah, that's not gonna do me any good. It should actually um, increase my ability to survive, not just point things out to me. Because I seriously doubt I'm gonna find the goal any faster when there's only one way forward anyway. That's probably one of the more useless ones, if I'm being honest. Oh boy. Come on. There we go. There we go. More shooting, less reloading. Uh, slows down enemy bullets. Ooh, thank you. Let's slow down when touching enemies, right? Hmm. Slows down enemy bullets. Thank you. Give me that. Actually, that might actually throw me off. We'll see. Seems to be working out in my favor, though. Obviously, it doesn't change them, but it does change them. Which can make all the world a difference. Hey. Jerk ass. Yep, it can mess me up if I'm not careful. Oh boy. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. No, I'm never, I'm never, I'm never gonna do that. Bullets bounces off walls. I hope that means my bullets bounce off walls. Oh boy. Shit, right at the beginning? You got no chill, bro. Bro, bro, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down. Chill. God damn. Didn't even leave the starting area. Holy crap. I wonder if I'm dodging better or if I'm just getting better at shooting them in retaliation because it seems like I'm still getting hit a lot. I'm just getting better at shooting them in retaliation. 
it would seem. Okay, let's slow down when touching enemies, reload faster. I'm gonna try the rubber bullets since I didn't really get a chance to play with it. Maybe it does mean I could uh, peek them around corners. Got to strafe circle him. Circle strafe him. I'm getting tongue tied here. I'm circling around my own tongue. Nice. My idol was still pretty full when I got there. Point towards the goal uh, makes you run faster backwards. I haven't really ran backwards, so I guess I'll just get this one. This is the only one that seems useful. Maybe I should just kill the ones that get in my way. Unless I need healing desperately. <laughs> Actually made it. Okay, uh, let, more, more shooting, less reloading, uh, more liquid in the idle. Here we go, survivability. Like I said, I don't have a problem killing them, I have a problem staying alive. Anything that increases survivability is always going to be the better bet. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. Wait, what the hell? Did I accidentally click? How did that happen? I didn't even click, click escape. I don't think I even clicked much of anything except the mouse and WASD. That was weird. Oh boy. Holy crap, this is getting tougher. Well, yeah, that's to be expected, probably. Slows down enemy bullets. Uh, let's slow down when touching enemies. Uh, slow down enemy bullets. Here we go. Weird. You know what I'm saying? Actually, okay. Pointing me towards the goal is more helpful here. It seems like it's getting more cryptic about where to go next as you go. I thought that would be a worthless upgrade, but um, not quite so much. It becomes more useful as you go. what I mean? Oh, the, the less slow down when touching enemies. Oh, fuck. I was that close to the freaking liquid, man. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. It's one thing if I die. It's another thing if I run out of time, right? And the nick of it. Man. This really is speedrun the game, essentially. Well, it's speedrun slash 100%, because you either have to keep killing enemies to get your health up, or you just run as fast as you can. The point is, you're on a clock here. You have to do something to, to get to the goal in time. Really, 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 why, why, why? Once you get up there, why does it... Why does it still count against you? When you're up in that area and you're just about to dip it in, it seems... I don't know, harsh. To let you run out of time when you're right there. It's me, though. Maybe this makes me go faster. I don't know if it does make me go faster. It might just be a placebo effect, viewer. Makes you run backwards, makes shooting, more shooting, less reloading. Maybe. 
Because the Uzi would just make it a weak, make every shot weaker, I would imagine. I can't afford to miss a step. Run. Oh boy. Okay, this time I'll kill you. It, it's actually pretty handy to have them chase you in a way. Because then you can just turn around and pop them one. You know, when you need a, a pick-me-up. Enemies explode upon death, uh, bullets bounce off walls. Probably the most useful run one right there. Nice. find it interesting how the geometry seems to be more and more nonsensical as you go. Although it always seems to be built off a block system, which makes you almost think of, of an extremely uh, warped take on Wolfenstein 3D. Although with uh, floor and uh, ceiling textures, so maybe more like Rise of the Triad in a way. I mean, it's as hectic as Rise of the Triad, that's for sure. More shooting, less reloading. Here we go. Yeah, see, that's what I... Pointing you towards the goal certainly seems more helpful in uh, later maps like this. Oh boy. Running out of liquid. Okay, that, that doesn't always lead you towards your goal either. Damn. Well, better to get shot than just to run out of time. That way you die in a blaze of glory. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if you actually improve your stats over time. I can't imagine you do. It seems very much a roguelike. In other words, it's your own skill that gets improved. It's not like a JRPG where an, um, even a Western uh, real-time RPG where your own skills get improved over time. I mean, the in-game skills, the, the character skills. In a roguelike, you're the one leveling up, IRL, because you're getting more used to it. That's the goal. It's not leveling up your character, it's meant to level up you. In a way, that kind of makes it more beneficial, because your reaction time is sharpening. Yet I'm still, uh... I'm still as twitchy as ever. Then again, this game kind of requires it because of the fast pacedness to it. Okay, there we go, there we go. Ooh, I think I'll change to a shotgun. That might help me more. It might be slower to fire, but it actually hits a lot harder. Even though some of the enemies uh, die in seconds, it's still very helpful to be able to kill them instantly. comes at the cost of not being able to shoot as fast with subsequent enemies. Plus, if you are prompt about reloading, any downsides are mitigated. So, that's good. See what I mean? The shotgun is really good. I need to stick with it. Reload faster. I'm going to go with that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Damn, I should have shot something. I probably would have made it too. At least I made it pretty far that time. Two 
shabby. I I'm enjoying this game. Even if I am getting my ass handed to me. This isn't uh, one of those games maybe to go back to in a Let's Play, but I definitely want to play it at some point. If that makes any sense. Definitely a very hectic game. And I'm glad I picked it. It fits perfectly, don't you think? Survivability is key. It's king. Prioritize survivability and then making you have less reloading and then maybe turning it into shotgun. That seems to be the totem pole, at least for me. Having... Pointing towards the goal is nice, especially in the later levels, but it's not a super priority. If I had to pick between that and say more help in the idol, I'm definitely not going to pick that. What the frick? I guess I didn't do the killing shot that time. Oops. I need to ensure that I've killed him. Otherwise, I'm not getting my health back. And I'm slowly losing anyway. Interesting concept, though, that you're holding your own head that is constantly leaking fluid and you have to replenish it constantly. And, of course, if you get shot, that just makes it deplete faster. Damn it. That's the worst, when you almost make it to the goal and then you die short of it. That's just the worst, man. I don't think so, pal. Oh boy. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Mm, uh, rubber bullets, that seems to be good. Pulling it into an Uzi can be helpful, but it makes it slower for you to kill the enemies, so... Probably not the best you can do. This makes it so that even your missed shots can be helpful. You know what I'm saying? Oh boy. Take that, you weirdo. Melee things. Ah, yes. Here we go. Yeah, I guess I'll go with this one. This seems more generally helpful. I think the slowdown thing only applies to, like, one enemy. Oh boy. It might apply to more than one enemy type, but it doesn't apply to all of them, whereas this... The gold thing seems like it's just handy in general, you know? Oh boy. I'll hurry this up. I'll get left in the dust again. Ah, yes, very nice. Reload faster, more li liquid in the idle. Always go for the survivability viewer. If you have the chance. And pouring towards the goal is indeed very helpful, isn't it? Actually killing my enemies to get my health back is pr probably pretty helpful too, if I would just do it. There we go. More help the idol is helping too. Next time I die, that's gonna be it. Uh oh, running out. Ooh, I made it. I made it. I freaking made it, bro. Nice. Sorry, I'm. I accidentally smacked the microphone there. I am so excited. 
matter what happens, I made it farther than I did before, and I can be proud of that. I suppose. Uh, it's not over until it's over. Ah, I almost had it. You know what? Still feel pretty good about that. And hey, good game. So, that's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like all the fluids I've been f dropping everywhere. My head fluids, get your mind out of the gutter, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep notified of new videos, and maybe even check out these videos right here. If you wanted to like and leave a comment, that'd be great too.